What's up, y'all? Stand on my AKA D Global Dark Skin Ambassador, and I'm back with another Power Book Two Ghosts Season Four Theory Prediction. And sometimes I believe that RSJ will end up being the Milan of Power Book Two Ghosts, and it will be revealed in Season Four. Sometimes I feel that way. You know, the couple like there's two or three options that we're definitely going to see. I mean, one of these three options, we're definitely gonna see of RSJ. Either he's someone who really came up from nothing, really kept his head on, on a, a straight path, really never really did nothing illegal, but did come up in the hood, does know James St. Patrick, and maybe he was having some issues growing up and Ghost helped him out, and maybe he was getting bullied, Ghost used to look out for him. Maybe it's a situation like that, like he used to do with Tommy. Number two, he's going to be the Milan. He's going to be the Milan of the season, right? Or number three, maybe he's Breeze and Ghost helped him fake his death and he ended up becoming the Black Elon Musk. Maybe. Now, that last one is the biggest reach. So maybe one of the first two will be it. But there's things we don't know about RSJ. And the thing that I can't get over is why the same exact day, Tariq, Braden, Kiki, Effie, RSJ, land in Italy. By the way, RSJ specified that that team be with him, right? And my Uncle Luke, right? Why that exact same day, Noma pops up in Italy with the stink face. You got to understand, she had this mean scowl on her face. Like that picture of Gabrielle Union in Deliver Us From Evil, where L. Cool J was like, why is she scouring like that? She had the Deliver Us From Evil face in the middle of beautiful Italy. Why was she so upset when she sat there at the table? These are questions that Inquiring Minds, aka My Inquiring Mind, wants to know. Not only does she know they were gonna be there, sat there, met with them the exact same day RSJ and them touched down. But she had already planned for them to do certain things, right? Right? How did she know that Tariqa's team was gonna be there? That's too much of a coincidence. They randomly go to Italy and now Noma is there. Now, I understand that Noma had eyes on people, but all the way to Italy, all the way to Italy, what's not to say that RSJ is Noma's biggest supplier? What's not to say that RSJ was already working with Noma and because of him, Noma knew Tariq would be in it? What's not to say that RSJ is one of those people who I'm the supplier, right? So since I'm the supplier, I don't have a personal interest in who has my work, who sells my work. I'm just interested in making money. As long as my money is being made, I don't care who beefing with who. You know what I'm saying? Because just like in real life, you know, there's people above both opposing sides who aids both opposing sides because it will make them money. America does it. You've seen it happen in Game of Thrones. The people with the most money, they make their money. And if the people below them owe them money and they're not going to get it, then they just aid the opposing side to take them out. And eventually, they still going to make their money. So what's not to say... What's not to say RSJ been tied to Noma? If he's that guy who's above Noma, and he's a major, major, major supplier, right? Who also managed to really be like Batman out here, really conceal his identity from the whole entire world, right? Hiding in plain sight for real, right? What's not to say that he been tied to Noma? What's not to say that maybe, that maybe behind the scenes, he working with Obi to get rid of Noma. And the person who he believes in the most is Tariq because he has a fondness 
for Tariq's father, and he believes that Tariq could be even better than him. What's not to say he's waiting for Noma to fall so he can pop up out the woodwork like Milan did and say, okay, good. You got rid of Noma. Now you work for me. Here's the keys to the kingdom, <laughs> right? Here's everything you need to know. Yes, it's me. Yes, I know your father in this way, that way, that way. Yes, you owe me a lot of money. You know that, right? You know you got millions of my my dollars, you know what I'm saying, taken away by me dealing with the Westerns who I never wanted to deal with. Because it's clear that RSJ only dealt with the Westerns because he wanted, first of all, the QCP building to do whatever he wants to do, right? And we need to find out why he wants the QCP building so bad specifically, right? But he, we need to understand why he got a hard on for Tariq. And it's very possible that he is the Milan of Power Book 2 Ghost. We haven't seen a whammy like that. We haven't seen a major surprise like that within the Power Universe for a minute. And I think it would be fitting. I think it would be cool if we go from seeing RSJ, right? Dressed up in a suit all the time, talking very, very proper, right? To maybe even him still talking proper, but now he's in the safe house somewhere, he's cutting somebody's arm off, <laughs> cutting somebody's leg off in front of Tariq and Brady. Like, yo, listen, this game is serious. I'm about my bread. You owe me some money, Tariq. Make me my money and then you can do whatever you want. But you gotta make me my money, dog. Oh, all this Simon Stern stuff, he's getting in the middle of what we got going on. He's getting in the middle of what we got going on, Tariq. I'm gonna need you to deal with that. Or him coming out the woodwork and saying, yo, I know your father. I know your father. And I think you know about me, Tariq. And Tariq goes, who are you? Well, in the streets, they used to call me Breeze. Oh my goodness, that would be the highest, the highest rated episode in Power Universe history until they have Ghost come through on the zip line and help Tariq out in the shootout and save his life. And then they ride off into the sunset, right? Which would be towards the end of the series, right? But what's not to say that RSJ is the Milan, is the Milan of Power Book 2 Ghost. And he wants to make Tariq his successor. There's a lot of things we don't know about RSJ. What if RSJ has kids? What if RSJ has a wife? We don't know these things. We know nothing about RSJ except for the fact that he rich and the Westons got his money stolen. He gonna want his money back. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, come subscribe. Peace.